Hey guys, Bronco Carl 92 here. So uh, it's Wednesday, May 1st, May Day. Um, I'm uh, doing a little work on my plasma cutter tonight, and uh, maybe we can do a, a demo on it. So uh, let me show you what I got going on. Okay, so uh, I guess a few days ago uh, I gave you guys like a little intro on this and uh, I uh, went ahead and took the covers off and removed the old um, the old torch here, which uh, really was a matter of just undoing this fitting here and uh, these three wires, so that wasn't really a big deal. Um, I installed the new strain relief over here and then uh, I found that this fitting here this adapter was missing so uh, Weldmart had to send me a new one of those um, and then uh, it's just a couple of these wires here these three wires and then this one over here so we'll tie wrap those um, so what I have left to do is uh, install this pressure switch here on the other side and uh, put this air filter on the inlet line and uh, cover it up and we'll give it a, a run so uh, let's uh, spin this thing around and change out that pressure switch okay so uh, I guess this is a higher rated pressure switch than this one so I guess we just take these two wires off Get a wrench for that. That's a really fancy switch with an adjustment on it and everything. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Sorry about that. It's a little bit of a stretch, but the wire makes it. Okay, I'll lay 
like it. Okay. Not touching anything, that's good. Alright. Alright, actually, I, uh, I relocated this one wire here because I didn't like the way it was rooted. So, I'm just got a zip tie over here. Not like anything's moving around in here, but I guess that's not a bad idea. My favorite part of the instructions is uh, make sure the unit is unplugged before working on it. I would hope so. But I guess uh, some people probably do some some silly stuff. Anyway, so we're done on this side. So let's put the cover back on. So this machine is the same as, uh, let's see, Matco, Marquette, Astro, Napa, Century, ProArc, um, and of course the Snap-on one. So there's a company in Italy that actually, I guess, makes this for uh, all those different vendors. It's a pretty nicely made machine. I guess for the expert that I am, I guess on uh, on welding machines, I guess. But Larry at Weldmark seems to be quite fond of this machine. He uh, he really likes it. So Larry's the type of guy that you call up, and uh, when you talk to him, he uh, he's like your best buddy, even though you never met him before. So people like that are good to talk to on a phone. I watched one of uh, Jeff Chance's videos before. I guess he's uh, in an office building where they're doing some construction above him. And he was complaining about how he didn't like the noise. So uh, I commented on the video with, uh, with just an LOL because the funny thing was is when I watched it the first time, I didn't hear anything. So I thought it was like a joke. So... Uh, I watched it a second time, and the sound worked a second time. So, uh, John, sorry about that. <laughs> but uh, actually, yeah, I could see how that uh, jackhammering noise would uh, would actually make me want to jump out of a window too. So here's the other cover. Now, I've never had this machine apart before, and I bought it brand new, so I don't think anybody else had it apart either. The funny thing is, all these screws have no washer, except for this one. It goes over here, which is actually out of the shot. Over here, so, anyhow.
Okay, we're gonna take that off. This thing has kind of like a filter assembly on it, a water separator anyway, but I guess another one wouldn't hurt. Right. Oops. So uh, let me get this thing plugged in and uh, let's give her a go. All right. So I got this old tailgate here. It's been sitting in the corner of the garage for eons, and I want to get rid of it. I thought that this would be a good time to cut this up. I want to do something with this Dodge Ram part here anyway. So. Never worked that well. <laughs> Try that again.
go. All right, well, I guess that must be uh, what our, all of our smoke was. The, um, I guess there's hay in here, because this was one of our farm trucks. So, this tailgate, aside from this nasty dent it had here, this tailgate's all bent up. The inside of it, look how clean it is for a tailgate from a 1986 truck. Granted, it hasn't been on an 86 truck since, uh, I don't know, somewhere in the mid-90s, but... Anyhow, but, uh, look at this nice, nice cut here. Not sharp, nice and straight when you use a straight edge as a guide. Here's when uh, old Wobble Hands just tries to do a freehand. I had a freehanded over here, that's kind of why I lost my, uh, my place about I had to pull it apart there, so. Anyway. I guess uh, there you have it. So, uh, yeah, my uh, plasma cutter, uh, I'm in love with it once again. So, uh, anyhow, uh, I'm going to go put this up and uh, we'll, uh, we'll get you guys back up there soon. So, uh, thanks for watching as always and take care.